myself Dr. W. B. Gunwale from Kamla Nair Mahavidyalaya Nagpur. Today I am going to discuss the uh, synthetic drugs and in this synthetic drug we are going to see what is meant by uh, what is drug, what are the actions of drug and what are the qualities of drug and uh, different types of drugs and lastly we are going to see the uh, preparation, properties and uses of some drug like paracetamol, HPN, Dettol and some other drugs. So today's topic is a uh, synthetic drugs and in this uh, synthetic drug first of all we are going to see what is mean by drug and definition of this drug is a uh, uh, drug can be defined as the substance which is used for the purpose of diagnosis, prevention, cure or relief of diseases. As we know chemical substance used for the treatment of diseases and for reducing the suffering from pain are known as the medicine or drug. Use of some chemical compound as a medicine has helped uh, uh, us in number of ways. Medicine have been used to cure diseases, to reduce suffering from the pain and also to check the population exp exposure. Medicine have increased the average lifespan of the man and have helped him to lead the comfortable life free from fear from the pain. As we know uh, the treatment of diseases due to bacterial invasion by chemical compound which destroy the micro microorganisms without affecting the tissues of the host is known as the chemo uh, chemotherapy and this uh, uh, chemical so used for the cure are known as the chemotherapeutic agents. Each compound used as a specific in its toxicity towards the particular microorganisms. The compound which exert various physiological effects of the therapeutic value uh, this is known as the drug and ideal requirement of the drug is that uh, it uh, should be localized at the site where it is required so there are different types of drug also uh, first we are going to see what are the requirement of ideal drugs so here are the some requirement are shown for the ideal drug and uh, the, the, the drug should have some uh, uh, it should satisfy some requirement so number one is uh, when this drug is administered to the host its action should be localized at the site where it is desired to act second is that it should act on the system with the efficiency and safety and third is that it should not be a toxic so and now next number is that it should have minimum side effect and another is that it should not damage host tissues or physiological processes and uh, next is that the cell should not become resistant to the drug after some time so these are some requirement for the drug uh, or the ideal drug should have these are the, uh, some requirement and uh, after this we are going to see what are the different types of uh, drugs and uh, uh, these drugs uh, and are there different types of drugs are there and uh, different types means antiparetic, analgesic like that, antiseptic and we are going to see, I am giving one example of each type of drug so in case of antiparetic the example of drugs are aspirin, paracetamol, pe uh, penacetin, analgin like that and second is analgesic drug also have example narcotics and non-narcotics third is the antiseptic and example of this is the boric acid Examples are boric acid, picric acid, resorcinol and some dyes and also detol. And uh, fourth one is the disinfectant. So here the examples are phenol, cresol, hydrogen peroxide, sulfur dioxide. And number five is a tranquilizer. Examples are sed uh, sedatives, uh, vitalin are the examples. And uh, six is the antibiotic. And example of this antibiotic, ampicillin streptomycin, chloropenicillin penicillin are some antibiotics example and next is the antibacterial so here in case of antibacterial they also have a uh, antibacterial have example sulfur drugs sulfonamide, sulfur uh, guanidine, sulfur pyridine antimalarial is also there and examples are quinine, chloroquinine are the examples anti-anesthetic so examples are uh, nitrous oxide, cyclopropane, sodium pentothal like that. 
and last is the psychedelic drugs so here uh, examples are there LSD that is lasery, lasergic acid diethylamide are the examples uh, these are the different types and examples of this uh, type of drugs and now here uh, the ideal there should be some ideal drug but what is now here uh, the drug should satisfy uh, uh, these conditions to act as an ideal drug and uh, these are the some uh, requirement or we can say that a perfect drug does not exist however there are certain characteristics that are desired in almost any drug and these are characteristics of the drugs are it is inexpensive that is should it should have a low cost number two is that achieve maximum effect and third is that extent of the change varies by dosage this should be there and uh, next is the not undesirable side effect and uh, last is the effect of time controllable so selecting uh, selectivity of the drug is such a way that uh, it, uh, it is uh, uh, can be a specific reaction with no side effect so uh, these are the some important characteristics of the drug so after this now we are going to see uh, so here the preparation property and uses of aspirin some important drugs are there and these drugs are uh, one is a aspirin we are going to see after that we are going to see the uh, paracetamol then detol then chloro uh, chloroquine pheno uh, phenobarbitone chloropenicol chloramine d so these are the some drugs which are given in the syllabus and the first drug we are going to see the preparation properties and uses of the drugs so here first uh, drug is a uh, aspirin uh, aspirin is also known as a uh, uh, acetyl salicylic acid it is a salicylic acid acetylation we have to carry out of the salicylic acid so the reaction is shown here so aspirin is a acetyl salicylic acid and can be prepared by acetylation of salicylic acid the acetylation can be affected either by mixture of acetic acid and acetic anhydride in the presence of sulfuric acid acting as a catalyst or by acetic anhydride in the presence of pyridine the chemical reaction uh, shown in this slide that uh, here is this is the example of salicylic acid uh, uh, also of carbogic and OH group and then this is acetic anhydride and now this acetyl group from the anhydride get attached here and forming this is COH as it is now here H is replaced and acetyl group comes here and this acetic acid is replaced so we get acetylation of salicylic acid and we obtain the aspirin and this aspirin is a very important drug and have number of UJs and uh, the UJs are uh, aspirin are the it is useful as a analgesic for the relief of pain like head uh, headache body pain arthritis that is joint pain also joint pain pain is there and another important application is that it is used as an anti-inflammatory product due to bring down the inflammation for example rheumatoid arthritis spondylitis it is used singly or in combination with phenacetin or caffeine so these are some applications and third number is it is also used as an antipyretic to bring down high temperature that is fever due to all types of diseases and number fourth is that it is a white solid and therefore it is used in a various medicine and recently aspirin is used for the treatment of heart diseases so these are some uses of this uh, drug aspirin second important uh, uh, drug is a uh, paracetamol and here uh, we are going to see the preparation so the preparation of this as, uh, is shown in the figure also in the slide also and uh, uh, this starting material for obtaining paracetamol is a para aminophenol para aminophenol is uh, acetylated again by using uh, acetic anhydride and we get para hydroxy acetonolide or we say we can know that paracetamol it is shown in the slide that again this is the acetic anhydride acetylation is taking place here so acetyl group from this attach here H and this here again acid uh, CSH get replaced and we get uh, uh, by acetylation uh, with uh, acetic anhydride and acetyl group get uh, is attached here uh, in place of H and we get this acetylated product which is, which is known as paracetamol and important use of this paracetamol is uh, it is used as a 
safe antipyretic safety antipyretic for curing fever by lowering body temperature in uh, when there is a fever uh, in case of the com uh, body of that com of the human being uh, now here so uh, to reduce the temperature when there is a fever it is this uh, paracetamol generally used or commonly used as a drug and the next drug is now we are going to see that is preparation ujsn and chloramine so here uh, here the uh, slide also shows the how uh, chloramine can be synthesized and the preparation is shown here and uh, uh, we can say that chloramine is synthesized by the reaction of 47 dichloroquinoline and 4 diethyl amino 1 methyl butyramine at temperature 180 degrees Celsius. So the reaction is shown here, and uh, so this is the compound get reacting and forming here the comp uh, here in place of C Cl uh, is here over in place of the, this group get attached HCl get replaced and uh, this compound get attached here. So here from H from this and Cl is replaced and uh, this group get attached and we get this compound which is known as chloroquine. And now this uh, drug is also having important UJs and uh, UJs are uh, this uh, uh, drug uh, you, uh, can be used for the treatment of malaria. So chloroquine has a long been used in the treatment and prevention of malaria. Another is that it can be used as a amoebic liver excess that is it is used for the liver abscess chloroquine may be used and uh, it is also uh, used for immune system it is used in some uh, autoimmune disorder and uh, uh, this drug can also be used for the new muscular hearing gastrointestinal brain skin eye cardiovascular and blood reactions so some it is also used as a common medicine uh, in cure malaria and so uh, because of the uh, sulfate and phosphate of this drug are also used as a tablet so number of applications are there of this chloroquine so uh, next another drug is a uh, that is the preparation property which is of phenobarbitone so in case of phenobarbitone the structure is also shown and uh, by using uh, preparation of this compound the synthesis of this compound shows uh, four steps shown in the figure or uh, in the slide that benzene cyanide is ethanolized to give ethyl ether of phenyl acetic acid and after that it is acetylated acetylated with the diethyl oxalate to give diethyl ester that is phenyl oxo butanodioc acid and after that this on heating loses carbon monoxide forming phenyl malonic ester and this phenyl malonic ester now on uh, ethylation uh, and after cyclization we get phenobarbitone so the reaction is shown here uh, step by step four steps are there first benzyl cyanide is converted to ethyl phenyl acetate and it is then converted react with this compound diethyl oxalate then phenyl uh, oxo beta dioic acid then it is again react with this, uh, uh, here is a involved of CO and we get this compound after again it react with this compound and we get the triethyl in this compound and after that lastly uh, react with the urea and forming the phenobarbitone and uh, this uh, drug is also having some important application and important application of this drug are given here that it can be used uh, in the treatment of all types of uh, seizures changes that is the changes in the brain electrical activity it can also be used for the treatment of febrile seizures it is used for the treatment of APLC in cats APLC in cats also used in a uh, jaundice and uh, 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 sedar chain and uh, hypnosis are the principal side effect this drug can also be used for the relief of cyclic omitting syndrome so this drug is also very important and having number of applications and uh, next is the next drug is a, a preparation property which is a chloramphenicol so uh, this is the important drug and synthesis of this drug is shown in the slide uh, so step by step 
how the synthesis is taking place shown in this figure. Uh, one by one steps are shown and lastly we get the uh, drug chloroquinicol and if this drug is very important for the treatment and have number of applications and it is huge in the treatment of acute fever and dysentery, pneumonia it is also huge for the treatment of typhoid and uh, another use is that it is also used in the treatment of brain cells it is widely used for the preparation of eye drops, ointment and also treatment of bacteria conjunctivities so these are some important uh, applications and also uh, the most serious side effect of chlorophenicol treatment is a, a plastic uh, anemia so this is the one of the side effect in case of by using this uh, drug and uh, next uh, drug is a uh, preparation properties and uses of chloramine T so the reaction is shown here um, uh, and uh, this uh, chloramine T is prepared from paratulin sulfonamide and sodium hypochlorite and the sodium hypochlorite is produced in situ from the sodium hydroxide and chlorine shown in the figure here slide and uh, this is the uh, reaction of the synthesis of chloramine T so by reaction with this water can replace and we get sodium salt of this compound and chloramine T and this drug is also having some important applications and uh, it is huge in uh, iodine iodination, radio iodination. Uh, it is also used for the incorporation of iodine to peptide and protein. It is used as a biocide. It is used for the parasite control and drinking water disinfection, disinfections. And the last use of this is uh, against is uh, it is also used against the tuberculosis. So this is also very important drug. And lastly, uh, one more drug is there and which is the uh, known as a Dettol and uh, Dettol have um, structure shown here uh, uh, two methyl groups are there and para position uh, hydroxyl and CL is there and this is the Dettol is a trade name for the uh, hygiene product manufactured by uh, Becky it has been in uh, use since before 1936 when it was used after surgery as an antiseptic the active ingredient in Dettol that confirm its antiseptic property is a chlorogylinol an aromatic chemical compound with, follow, uh, with the structure shown and uh, uh, here uh, this uh, the important use of this uh, uh, Dettol is a uh, diluted Dettol may be used to clean cuts, wounds etc and uh, to disinfect environmental surfaces such as household floors and wall of uh, uh, some houses and uh, another application is that Dettol has the uh, potential uh, for causing leather toxicity and it is poisonous when in ingested in and even when it is unintentionally inhaled and also uh, use as a germicide in hospitals pathological labs like that so uh, one of the diluted data is also used for the treatment of acne is a uh, one disease and here so these are the some important application of this data and structure is shown here so today we stop here and we have discussed today what is drug what are the requirement of drug and important characteristics of the drug and what are the examples of different types of drug and we have seen some important drugs uh, uh, in which we have, we have seen the preparation properties and uses of some important drug like uh, uh, paracetamol, aspirin, uh, chloramine tea and uh, some other drugs.